Hello to everyone. I'm Alex, a train simulator free lover, and today I'll talk about one of the most historical routes that will come in the future as a DRC. What makes this route so special and important for any railway enthusiast? And also, I'll cover up the history of the famous locomotive, part of the E10 class, later becoming DB103. Stay with me if you are curious how this unit became such a consecrated one and how the rail transport system rose above any other means of transport at that time because of this locomotive. West Rhine Railway mains Comblance is only half of the entire route that runs for 185 km from Cannes to Mainz. A famously picturesque double-track electrified railway, also called Linke Rheinstrecke in German, is not a high-speed one and probably that's the main reason why only half of it made it to the game. 160 km per hour being the maximum speed allowed on the entire length of the route. Even less on our section of the route when the run is obstructed by the meandering nature of the Rhine Gorge. Rhine Gorge being a popular name for the upper middle Rhine Valley, 65 km section of the Rhine River between Kamblenz and Hildesheim. It was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in June 2002 because of its beauty as a cultural landscape, its importance as a route of transport across Europe and the unique adaptation of the buildings and terraces to the steep slopes of the gorge. Players will enjoy this scenic route especially due to the fact that it stretches along the banks of the Rhine River, the tracks that will weed through the deep valleys of the river, sometimes cutting through the mountains, through several hundred meters long tunnels, all of which are accompanied by the structures built on the steepest terrains. The action will take place in the past, having as a profile picture the class 103. I'm a German DLC lover and this announcement came as a gift for my soul. Personally, I was so impressed by the looking of this unit since I was a child. 103 is also such an iconic train that it's hard to not recognize it judging the looking. Classified as one of the most powerful locomotives at that time and not only, after the Second World War DB Company has focused on introducing as many electric locomotives as possible replacing the old fleet and promoting the electrification system. Germany was in a constant economic development at that time, the demands were increasing and a fast transport way was wanted, trains being in a constant competition with other transportation ways since 1950s and the maximum speed of 160 km per hour was deemed sufficient. During the 50s, Plans were made to enhance pre-war class E19 locomotives to have a top speed of 180 km per hour, but technical layout was outdated and the braking system was deemed insufficient. The plans were revised to demand a top speed of 200 km per hour combined with a cocoa wheel arrangement to limit the axle load to 18 tons. Elements of the new class, such as high-speed buggies, were tested with the existing class E10 units, later 103.0 after the introducing of new numbering system. Four prototypes were finished in 1965. They were introduced to the public at the International Transport Fair in Munich in 1965 as class E10. During the exhibition runs to Augsburg, they reached 200 km per hour on a regular basis. The experience gained on these occasions indicated that the installed power was insufficient. In addition to stronger motor, the transformer was also reinforced for serial production. Five years later, the first serial type class 103.1 was put into service. DB planned to introduce a new intercity system with fast first-class connections between major cities in autumn of 1971. 
So the specification sheet demand class 103.1 to be capable of pulling a passenger train at 200 km per hour. With a total number of 145 units, class 103.1 became the backbone of German Trans Europe Express and Intercity lines. In addition to the usual CIFA and PSB, class 103 was also equipped with the LZB as an addition train safety system for speed in excess of 160 km per hour, also equipped with AFP in order to automatically keep the custom speed. With inauguration of the new intercity system, only a few lines were in haste for a top speed of 200 km per hour and the necessary government approvals for speeds higher than 160 km per hour was also missing. Therefore, class 103 in the first years did not reach its top speed in regular services. The first major problems appeared. The AFB system being considered the main culprit in the July 21st, 1971 derailment where it was suspected to be responsible for accelerating the train out of control where the balance of the victims is shocking. The later delayed the introduction of regular top speed services. In 1979 technical problems had been overcome and a top speed of 200 km per hour was permitted on a few lines with the necessary features. Governed by a very intense schedule, with one train per hour on every intercity line in each direction, locomotives will perform well over 1000 km on a single day. So until 1987, when the class 120 locomotives were introduced, class 103 had a near monopoly for fast trains in Germany and a monopoly for those with operational speeds beyond 160 km per hour. By the early 1990s, the intense utilization, however, had resulted in an increasing number of defects. This tendency was intensified by the fact that DB, striving to be privatized, had significantly cut back on maintenance. Furthermore, with the first IC entering regular service in 1991, Class 103 had been deprived of its role as DB flagship. DB also decided to replace these locomotives with the new Class 101, which entered service in 1996. In the following years, Class 103 was relegated to lesser duties and after a brief comeback in 1998, when all IC units were temporarily taken out of service after another horrible train disaster, the remaining 103 units were retired from regular service by 2003. However, on 19 March 2013, this preserved class 103 locomotives returned to daily services from Munich wearing the original intercity livery. A total of 17 class 103 have been preserved with at least 5 units still operational. Two units are still part of the DB rolling stock and are frequently used for test runs. This was the history summary of the famous locomotive 103, an emotional baggage transposed in this DLC and every German content lover can admit that. So far nothing to complain, after all all we got are some screenshots and judging just that, that looks amazing. More videos about this route will be published as soon as the release date of this DLC gets closer, there's the live streams also, articles and other screenshots. No release date so far, but keep an eye on the channel for update by subscribing. Press that like button if you like the content and tell me down in the comments your opinion about this masterpiece. This was Alex in Game Channel, until the next time guys, stay safe. Bye.